Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be down the canal fishing on my law rod with these new micro laws that I've got. So hopefully I'll get some perch on them and I'll be float fishing on maggots. Just to give you a comparison of these small laws, these are the new small laws. This is my old small law. As you can see, it's a lot smaller and a lot more higher quality, I think. So I'm just going to keep casting this out here for a good 10 minutes then I'll move up and down the canal as the, as the day goes on. Fingers crossed we'll get some nice little perch on it or whatever. For now though I'm just going to quickly set up this pole. I'm going to put a nice little rig on it with a float. I think I'll use this one here. We've all been out for about five minutes and we've caught a nice little perch. So I'll get, we'll get him unhooked now and I'll show you him and then release him. So here's the nice little perch we've got. We had a, we had a mission on hooking him because um, he was a bit of a gut hook, but he's fine now. So off he swims. Over there, they were just fishing on the lures and they whipped up this big, massive log. Heavy, heavy log. I don't know how the line has like, held on that. It's like 20 pound braid line, so there's a good chance. But um, this rod, they've just whipped up that log. So I've just finished properly setting up all the rods. They're all up now. That one is, that one is the pole and the other two rods, they're all set up. We've stopped lure fishing now and we're just float fishing. So whatever's in this area, we're probably gonna catch soon. Barges just went past us and disturbed the swim massively. All, all of this muck's just come up off the bottom and it's horrible. I don't think it's lured any fish towards us this time, but um, oh well, we'll have to suck it up. We've just been having endless bites on that rod there. Loads of it bobbing up and down, up and down, up and down. It went right down, we struck and the fish was not on. So. Unfortunately, we lost that one. This spot on the canal is usually really good, but today we've not been having much luck here. So we're going to move up to the bridge where that where we've caught loads of big perch before. So I'll see you when we're there. Taylor's just dipped his rod in right there, literally for a split second, just to see if we'll get anything whilst we're on the way up to the bridge. And he's whipped us the smallest perch I've ever seen in my life. Look <laughs> how tiny he is. So here's the little perch. We're going to dip him in here. It's quite clear. You can still see him probably. Well, you can. There he is, nice. He must live under there then. He's gone right underneath the bank here. Look, the same thing's happened again, except this time the fish is 20 times bigger. Look at this bream. That's one of the biggest bream I've ever seen out the canal. Oh, wow. cut in. Here we go, guys. Look at this huge bream. I can't believe he's just caught that. Off he goes. Best catch of the day so far. That was the biggest bream I've ever seen out the canal. Um. We didn't even set the depth or nothing. We just whipped it in because we saw two roach. So we, he, he, he took the pole in trying to catch the roach. And then like two seconds later, we had a massive bream on obviously. But I thought it was a snag. I was like, oh no, no, that's a snag that is. And then he come out, it was just a massive bream. I was in shock. We've all arrived at the bridge now. I'm under the bridge, so you might hear cars. It's a bit noisy, but I'm with the little tiny law. We've got the float there, which has gone down. Yeah, oh, we're getting bites there. Oh, we've got a fish over there. I'll go and show you that now. Here you are, guys. We've got another bream. Now, look at that bream compared to the one we just had. A lot of big difference. Although this is a nice size one, the other one was better. Well, I've just had to one up this bad boy. But they're very slimy, so let's get him in. Off he goes. We've just caught another perch under the bridge. He's only a little one, so we'll get him on up right now. So off this little perch goes. Off he swims. Literally 30 seconds after that last one, we've had another. Look at him. He's beautiful. And another down here. Oh, it's a snag, but um, he's actually got beautiful colours, so. Plop him back in there. Nice one. That's like the fourth or fifth catch of the day. I can't really remember now, but we're doing all right. We've had quite a lot of fish since we moved up here, and I think we made the right choice moving, because down there we was having nothing. Since we've moved, we've had a big bream, a little tiny perch, and I've had... Oh, fish on. No, it's not. It's a snag. Oh, there's twig. Oh, well. Um, I'll unsnag that in a second. But yeah, we've made a very good decision moving. I've just lifted up. I didn't even know I had a fish on, but I've caught this very small gudgeon. So let's get, get him back in the water quickly. Up he swims. Beautiful little one. I've just caught myself this lovely little roach out the canal. He's hooked at the moment, so let's get him on up and release him. So guys, look at all that slime he's just produced on me. Very slimy fish, but let's get him back in the water. And saw my hand off. But that was a nice little roach, that was. Ditched the rods for a bit now, and I'm fishing with the bait caster with a little small oar on. 
Um, at the moment, I've just let it sink to the bottom, so I'll start reeling in just a sec. Dude over there's just had a fish on his lure. That's a first down the canal. We're having lots of bites on these lures, to be honest, today. It's a good day for lure fishing for some reason. And um, brother's just caught a small gudgeon. Just unhooking him at the moment. I'll get a better shot of him in just a sec. This little gudgeon's been attacked by some pike. Probably he's got a little sore on his belly. A tail, not belly. But um, put popping back in the water now. Because he's been out a little while. Ready? Three, two, one, off he goes. Lovely catch. We've just caught this massive perch here. Yeah, bloody big ears. So we're going to release this guy now. Get a POV of him. Ready? Off he goes. Nice one. We've had another gudgeon. Oh, wow. Sorry, little guy. Let's get you back in there. Back down here, a bit away from the bridge. He's just picked up this fish from the canal with his hand. He was swimming and he's grabbed let's him. him. Yeah, let's release him. Bloop. Nice one. Oh, no. Oh, he's he's been out of the water a bit long, probably. But um, he will swim off in the Up here, we've got another fish, so I'll go and show you him now. Let's watch him. Here we are, guys. Look at this perch. He's, he's not massive, but he's quite nice. He's big for the canal. Fat. He's got quite a bit of fat around his mouth. So, um, let's release him, yeah. Ready? Off he goes. Chopping him. Yeah, that's a crap release. Oh well. Um, ready? There he goes. We've had another one here. Nice little perch again. We're getting lots of perch today, so. Off he swims. Nice one. That's like the seventh perch. We've had loads. We've been out for a long few hours now. A good four or five hours, I'd say. So we're going to give it another 10, 15 minutes and then we'll head home. So, but make sure you stick along till the end, just in case we do catch any more, which I'm pretty sure we will at least get one more. So, I'll see you then. So guys, this might be one of the last fish we catch. Obviously on the way back we'll be fishing, so I'll record all of that, but this is the little gudgeon. I think this might be the last fish we'll catch in this area, so let's get a release. Nice one. Turns out the gudgeon wasn't. It was a last, last minute fish. And we've had this nice little roach here. Get him back in the water quickly. And off he swims. Get the slime off me. But yeah, that will probably be the last fish we get in this area. We're making our way back home now. So we're just going down to the next bridge where we caught the big bream. And we're going to go back there and try and catch another one of them big bream. Maybe with some other fish, because I've seen some grass carp down this section before. Never caught them, obviously, but... um. Yeah, we're going to go and try and catch the bream now. We had a few casts up there where we caught the big bream, but we didn't have no luck, and we, we're at the very bottom of this section now, so I think we're going to stop fishing now. So with that, obviously, I'm going to have to end the video here because we're going in, but um, it's been a cracking day. We've had a, that lovely big bream. I'd say he was about four or five pounds. I'm pretty sure he was, not he? If I'd have weighed him, that's what it would have come out as, my prediction anyway. Um, we've had loads of little perch, loads of little gridgeon some decent perch as well we had a lot lot of fish today good session so i hope you guys enjoyed so for now i'm gonna have to go and i'll see you back here in the next one but before you go please like the video smash the subscribe button whilst you're down there and also turn on the post notifications once you subscribe so you never miss one of my videos but for now guys i'll see you in the next video so peace for now